on behalf of the Northeast Valley Green Team, yay! Um, Pacorma Beautiful, LA Conservation Corps, Grid Alternatives, and Trust for Public Land. We're here today to support the interconnection of the largest local solar installation in Sun Valley, a 2.6 megawatt rooftop pro project that is creating new jobs and reducing CO2. But first, I want to thank Councilwoman Nuri Martinez for her bold leadership as chair of the Energy, Climate Change, and Environmental Justice Committee. Yes, for being our champion. And a special thanks to Wells Fargo over here for the support of the Northeast Valley Green Team. They stepped up when others did it. <laughs> thank you, Wells Fargo. And I also want to thank Martin Adams, uh, the Chief Operating Officer of LADWP. There he is, Martin, yay because these guys have really been killing it on, um, on getting local solar up and running. Now this program was created really a long time ago in 2013. We're almost done with our pilot, 150 megawatts. It's part of our, the way, our path to 100% renewable, which we're striving for. But we would not be here today if it wasn't for people like uh, building owners like Zbeck. If Zbeck didn't step up, there would be no solar on this roof. So we want to thank uh, Henry uh, Furman, the Vice President of Private Capital, for doing this today. And we also want to thank Perma City, Jonathan Port. He's, he's our hero. He's, he's our poster child because he's committed to do in basin solar, but with, with jobs for veterans, for union workers, for local community people. And he's really made a big difference. And he's brought solar to commercial, industrial, re retail roofs all over Los Angeles. So give it up for Jonathan. And now, with no further ado, I want to have Councilwoman Nuri Martinez. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I love that it, it cleared up, but now the wind picked up, and so it's not going to be a good hair day, but that's okay. That's okay. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me here today, and thank you to Zbeck for hosting us today. Thank you very much. And I also want to thank the Los Angeles Business Council for your leadership in bringing together business and government in our joint effort for sustainability. It's really crucial to our success, so thank you very much for bringing us together. It's great to be here at this press conference, especially because it signifies what it signifies for a green future for communities like Sun Valley. My name is Nuri Martinez. I'm a councilwoman for Council District 6 and a proud resident of Sun Valley. I'm excited to be here today because of what this signifies, especially because of the interconnection and what that's all about. There's so much talk about uh, in Washington about this push for a Green New Deal, a push to fight against climate change and to do it in a way that recognizes those communities that have been burdened the most. While the debate continues in Washington, D.C., there is no debate here in Los Angeles. There's no debate because we're simply just getting it done. See, we don't just talk the talk about the Green New Deal, we walk the walk, and that's exactly why we're here today. You see, Zebeck um, and this property, a little bit of history is, you know, this property was a dirty lot that used to park nasty diesel trucks. And these diesel trucks would be polluting our neighborhoods and our air and destroying our city. And not too far away from here, other properties in the surrounding area used to be used as mining gravel pits. And the worst of it all is that a couple of doors down, properties in this area were also used as landfills. So it's pretty clear to me that none of these things are good for the environment. And it's hard to even see the sunshine in a community like Sun Valley because of the ongoing issues. But Zbeck has really cleaned up this place. It really has. Now you have this great industrial park, which has resulted in a lot of jobs for hardworking people who live here. And those nasty diesel trucks that we used to see years ago are now re being replaced by a cleaner fleet. So the most important thing about this project to me is that we're actually changing behavior. We're changing behavior because this property is not no longer hurting the environment, but we're actually helping the environment now. The people who live in Sun Valley, sometimes we obvious, uh, sometimes get frustrated, but people who see us from the outside often think that this is an industrial land full of dis auto dismantlers and waste facilities, but they forget the significance of the community's name, Sun Valley. The sun, the most important asset and the source of the cheapest and cleanest energy. 
Bringing solar to Sun Valley just makes sense. Today with the solar panel installations that Perma City and Zerbex is actually installing, we are actually producing 2.8 megawatts of clean renewable energy to the DWP grid. What this means is that we're not only creating local jobs by the people who've installed these panels, but the installation actually supports 40 jobs. A lot of these jobs are going to the people who have actually served this country, and that is a big, big deal. We're actually living up to what this community believes, cares about, and stands for. Helping our environment in this neighborhood that actually needs it the most, we're doing it by working with the community and making sure that they're part of the solution and making sure that the benefits to this community go back to improving these green jobs and making sure that people who grew up in this community get an opportunity to actually work here. Bringing solar to Sun Valley brings a great sense of pride not only to the residents of here but when it comes to this issue of tackling climate change we have to start with the most vulnerable communities and that's exactly the spirit of the green new deal and that's exactly why i think this installation exemplifies that congratulations to perma city and zbec for today's interconnection to the dwp grid thank you so much to dwp and the la business council for your efforts and your leadership and making sure we get here today it took five years but we're here and uh, nothing in the city is ever easy but nevertheless <laughs> we got it done and with no further ado i want to introduce my really good friend um, i think that often we talk about marty in a sense that marty is a problem solver and anybody who's ever interacted with marty marty gets it I want him to come up and say a few words on behalf of the DWP. Marty, say a few words, make us look good, even though it took five years, my friend. But Marty is a true believer, and he gets my district, he gets me, he gets the fight of the good people who live here. But he's also a product of this community. He grew up and still lives in the community of Burbank. So let's give Marty a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. And Mary, thank you so much for being such a partner to the Department of Water and Power as we've driven this program home. So in 2012, the state passed a law that required communities to do a feed-in tariff program. We call it a FIT program. And I think a FIT program was like, oh, it should be a FIT. But in this way, we're making our energy system FIT. And so, uh, so the feed-in tariff program for, for LA, we were asked to do, we're told that our, our share is 75 megawatts of, of energy. So uh, we have doubled that goal for the city. We are planning to do at least 150 megawatts of feed-in tariff energy. And, and what is that? So in 2017, we were declared the leading solar city in the country. And we didn't do that by ourselves. We did that because almost 40,000 residents put rooftop solar on their roofs. And other companies have gone and put solar installations such as these, uh, the ones we're seeing today, for the FIT program. And so we know that there's not enough public space. There's certainly not open land in L.A. to put solar panels to get us to where we want to be locally for our own solar energy right here, not imported solar energy, but solar energy here right in Los Angeles. But the FIT program gives us a chance to leverage private roofs, to leverage folks who have businesses and large structures like this who can put on solar panels on the roof, sell that energy back to the city as part of the power that we bring in, allow us to put that in the grid and distribute it. So the energy produced here will feed about 1,000 homes day in and day out throughout the city. And projects like this will really get us to where we want to be locally for our solar installations. And so we're about halfway there in terms of our megawatt commitment. We're almost to the halfway mark. Uh, we know we have a lot of programs that we're, that we're looking for, more projects coming ahead. But it's important that we engage with private entities, private groups, to utilize the property that they have and the structures such as this to make our own local story, uh, local solar story come to life. And so uh, the only way we're going to have a green L.A. is to have everybody buying in together. And certainly the Department of Water and Power wants to partner with folks. We're working toward uh, community-based solar programs where folks who don't own their own roof can buy into solar installations in their neighborhood and participate in the green future. And, and so as we work toward those things, we want to partner with as many people as possible and encourage businesses Businesses, and I hope that other businesses will see this example today and see how this can be done, and it can be done profitably for both yourself as a company and for the city of Los Angeles and for the people that we serve. It's so important for our future, and we're, we're really happy to be here today to celebrate uh, the dedication of this new solar installation. So with that, I'm going to bring up uh, my good friend, Jonathan Port. He's the CEO of Perma City. Uh, we do some conspiring together on a lot of crazy ideas, uh, but he, uh, he has the ability to get these things done and make them happen. Jonathan. All to you, thank you so much. Thank you, Marty. 
Well, this is a great day. At, at Permacity, we are a local company. I'm, an, I'm born in Los Angeles, and we like to think really, really big, and then we like to make friends with really great people. And we're very lucky that the local council office first had the vision to how to transform this community and allow such a great building like this to happen that just had a perfect roof for us. Because at Permacity, we invented our own technology to, to make it cost effective and to resist the earthquakes. It's called Solar Strap. We put vets to work. And we're just really lucky. Uh, I'd like to thank LABC, who's been such a great partner. I'd like to really call out um, LADWP. Of course, Marty's fantastic. But Steve Bellum over there was with us all the step of the way. These aren't easy projects, and it takes great partnerships. Also, of course, I'd like to thank Henry, who we started this. He'll tell the story of that. And it, he's just, they, they've just been a fantastic partner. He's really shown that, that, that private development and community good, because these are we feel these are great equity projects, putting people to work, can uh, go side by side. And I think Sun Valley is going to become Sun Valley. This is the largest project in Sun Valley. Um, some people know in, in San Pedro we built one that was much larger, but I think this is the start of Sun Valley. Sun Valley does generate more power than San Pedro, of being a major, major power source and job creator. Um, with that, I'd like to bring Jeremy up for just a minute. Jeremy, I'd like to call out about how we put the vets to work and, low, and the low-income communities and really and how it's really changing lives. Jeremy? Oh, Jeremy's also commander in the Army um, and runs our whole construction company, so give a quick view on that. Uh, it's technically <laughs> lieutenant colonel, but, um, uh, you know, one of the things when, when John and I and our, our other business partner, Paul Carey, uh, got together, we, we thought, you know, it, the, the, the influence and importance of putting renewable energy on rooftops is unquestionable. And, and what, a, what a better way to do that than, than reaching down and, and bringing up some of the folks that uh, have historically been un underserved in the employment arena, and that's the veterans of the United States, the ones that have served the country uh, both foreign and abroad. And, and uh, I'd like to recognize a few of those folks here uh, today. Uh, Sharon Flowers, who's a veteran of 10 years, United States Army. Uh, Chris Elders, a, a veteran of five years, United States Marine Corps. And, uh, and, and Mario Rodriguez, a veteran of nine years, United States Army, still serving today, uh, in fact, in the same unit with me. So uh, we, 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 uh, we think we've got the right formula. We, we're working with uh, organized labor uh, to help reinforce uh, the, the training and, the, and, and not just giving people one-off jobs, but giving them real upwardly mobile careers. So uh, I want to really thank John Port. Uh, what a guy to get it done, and uh, I couldn't ask for a better partner. So thank you, John. Thanks, Jeremy. With that, I'd like to call up Henry Furman, who, without Henry, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you, Henry. Wow, this is a really special day. Welcome here to, uh, to this project, where, which sometimes we call Sun Valley, sometimes we call Pendleton. But um, regardless of what we call it internally, uh, we're just really proud that, that we could provide the foundation of this first large solar installation here in, in the district, which is maybe the first, Your definitely will not be the last. That's favorite. what I meant to say. Yeah, that's right. Um, Randy Kendrick, who founded ZBEC 32 years ago after leaving or uh, after graduating from, from USC, has always looked for ways to make our buildings uh, more environmentally sustainable. And uh, about three years ago, when I joined the company, um, it, uh, one of my first jobs was to work with Permacity and Jonathan on figuring out how to economically make this sense. And as we looked at projects across Southern California, one of the things that, was th that came right up right away is the fact that the, the distinguishing factor about this project, which was going to make it a great uh, first project for ZBEC and, and Permacity to work together, was the cooperation of LADWP and the commitment. Uh, a lot of our projects um, in, in other areas, it was going to be much harder to put all of the stakeholders together. And I just um, am really proud. And, and today is a great celebration of the fact that the, the roofing company and the solar company and the developer and the local community all work together. And to, to echo what the councilwoman said, you know, that there's, there's oftentimes, uh, I think, a, a fake animosity between uh, developers and being environmentally sustainable. And this is a perfect example of how um, it's good for us. That there's new jobs in the community that repurposed um, what was a gravel pit. We're able to do it in a sustainable way, and we'll be providing uh, solar
solar for this this community, jobs for this community, and uh, and we, we were able to do it in a really collaborative manner, and we're really proud to uh, to do that. And we, like I said before, this this will be the first one, but it's definitely not the last one. And and we just thank all the stakeholders here for uh, for working with us. And and again, welcome to our site. And uh, hopefully, we'll be back here, not to not here, but we'll we'll be uh, all reconvened together as a group before long, um, doing the next one of these uh, somewhere not far away. So thank you all for being here. Okay, and to close out today's press conference, I'd like to welcome Robin Choi, San Fernando Valley Regional Bank President of Wells Fargo, and who has generously supported this effort. Robin. Thank you very much, Mary. And I'm going to start off by saying that how much of an honor it is to be here. And I'm, I'm actually joined by Marcia Chu. And, and for those of you who don't know, she played an integral role working internally with all the stakeholders at Wells Fargo to put all the resources together so that we can come in and support this great cause. So Marcia, thank you very much for your leadership with this. Also here with members from uh, the San Fernando Valley, uh, North Valley Community District team members who actually live in Coppola and Sun Valley, their neighborhood where they actually live. So, uh, you know, our commitment to the community is, is more than just what we do at the foundation level. It's something that we take a tremendous amount of pride in. Stephen Contreras, our district manager here in the North Valley community, actually leads an effort, leads a team of team members across the entire San Fernando Valley where we like to go ahead and put on our red shirts. And, and, and volunteer, do a lot of good things here, whether that's planting trees in Santa Cruz Valley, or if that's us installing solar panels on the homes of private residences. As a, as a matter of fact, just two weeks ago, uh, we were at a local home in Van Nuys, uh, the Siri residence, and uh, my leadership team and I, and a couple of managers from the region, we all got together. We spent the whole day having a ton of fun, putting solar panels up on the roof so the family can save money. And we all know how, how, how hot it gets in the valley in the summertime, so. Uh, significant savings and it really makes us feel good about what it is that we do and it really is an honor to be here today and, and looking forward to partnering with the entire community more in the future thank you very much so. and i'd just like to take a minute to um to introduce adam lane who's our point person coordinating this effort from the lavc adam and and thank um rory and rachel and rachel rachel and rachel for for making today a success because it, it was a lot to put this event together so thank you